Welcome to Oryx Learning. Today's lesson is on Unit 8, Congruence and Similarity, Lesson 3, Similarity and Transformations. Samir is a curious learner and asks his teacher the following questions. What is the difference between using transformations to create similar figures versus using transformations to create congruent figures? If you'd like to find out the answer to this question, please follow along and we'll revisit it at the end. Two figures are similar if the second can be obtained from the first by a sequence of transformations and dilations. Similar figures have the following properties. They have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. Their corresponding angles are equal, and their corresponding sides are proportional. Setting up the proportion, given the triangle shown, we would have A over P equals B over Q equals C over R. Which of the following is true when the scale factor of the dilation is equal to 1? When the scale factor of the dilation is equal to 1, we are essentially multiplying by 1, which does not change the size of the figure. So the dilated figure is the same size as the original. Determine the scale factor from the smaller image to the larger image below. As we can see in the smaller image, the height is 2, and the height of the larger Im image is 6. In order to get from a height of 2 to a height of 6, we would multiply by 3. Therefore, the scale factor is 3. Which of the following is the correct similarity statements for the figures given? If the figures are not similar, circle not similar. Setting up our proportions, we would get CA over FD equals 10 over 15, or 2 thirds. AB over DE would equal 6 over 9, also reducing down to 2 thirds. Or BC over EF, which equals 8 over 12, which is also 2 thirds. Since all of them reduced to 2 thirds, they are proportional which means the triangles are similar, and triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. Determine if the two figures are similar by using transformations. If the figures are similar, fill in the blank below. Let's look at the orange triangle first. The orange triangle has a height of two and base of three. The purple triangle has a height of four and a base of 6. Comparing the heights and comparing the bases, we can set up ratios of 6 over 3, which reduces to 2 over 1 or 2, and 4 over 2, which also reduces to 2 over 1 or 2. Because both of them simplify to 2, the figures are similar, and the scale factor is 2. If yes, which of the following transformations were used? Select all that apply. In order to get from the orange triangle to the purple triangle, we would first have to translate it to the right and up. And as you can see, the orange triangle is smaller than the purple triangle, so it would also need to be dilated. So to get from the orange figure to the purple figure, we need a translation and a dilation. Megan owns a graphic design and print business. A client currently has a logo that measures 3 centimeters by 5 centimeters. In order to fit the t-shirt, Megan decides to enlarge it by a scale factor of 3. The client also wants a beach towel with a logo, which Megan decides to enlarge the t-shirt logo by a scale factor of 2. What are the dimensions of the logo on the beach towel? So the original dimensions are 3 by 5. Using the scale factor of 3, our t-shirt dimensions would be 3 times 3 and 5 times 3, which would give us dimensions of 9 by 15. 
Then, using a scale factor of 2 to find the tau dimensions, we would multiply 9 by 2 and 15 by 2 to get the dimensions of the logo for the tau, which is 18 by 30. So 18 centimeters by 30 centimeters would be the size of the logo needed to put on the beach towel. Now back to our original question. If Samir is a curious learner and asks his teacher the following questions, what is the difference between using transformations to create similar figures versus using transformations to create congruent figures? His teacher should respond, a dilation with scale factor that is not equal to 1 is always used to create similar figures, while it is never used to create congruent figures. So remember, similar figures have the following properties. They have the same shape, but not necessarily the same size. The corresponding angles are equal, and their corresponding sides are proportional. With the triangle shown, the proportion would be set up A over P equals B over Q equals C over R. That is our lesson for today. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you enjoyed it.